Hey guys, what is going on? It's Panther Dragon. Today, I want to be showing you a Kane One Trick Grandmaster in EUS. This guy is very interesting. He actually even got wow, he got Challenger in um in uh 2021. I don't know if he mained Kane. Let's go to it. He did, huh? But this is weird because you know he's D1. Okay, whatever. Thing is, he's got some weird runes that he runs. He's got Phase Rush. He's got Airy. And then also he builds the support item in the top lane. And this is a, you know, a, also a Trindamir player, but it's very weird to see a Kane main go airy and have this item. So is he playing support? It doesn't look like it. It could look like he's playing mid sometimes too, but this player is uh, kind of dominating the EU West ladder. So we're gonna be checking out how this guy plays to see what kind of unique playstyle he gives and we're gonna find out what happens alrighty so in this game you can see he is starting longsword and refillable pots and what runes is he running he is running airy i don't know why he runs airy mana flow celerity and scorch and then he's also running cosmic insight as well as magical footwear so i'm kind of intrigued to see what he does he is also running ghost and ignite which i guess makes sense for top laner because they like going ghost but uh i don't know you usually see flash on kane right so i'm quite curious to see what he does in the early game you can see he's already invading um on his team he does have a nunu and a shako so the shako always starts this side so he's yeah shako always starts this side and then you have a Jax over there and so i don't think he'll be under wait they see him wait how they wait Okay, so basically what I think, okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys what I think happened. So I, I've seen another gameplay of this. Basically what he does is he tries to proxy the first wave and then he uh, keeps proxying it and then he screws around with the jungler. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't get this wave, but what he's trying to do is get this, oh, something happened over here. And I guess Shaco uh, killed Ezreal. But what he usually does is he proxies this wave, goes and screws with the jungler and then gets a tier on his first back and then that's basically it unfortunately in this game he couldn't do that um and so he's a little bit behind and yeah that's that's his whole plan this is grandmaster and they know who he is and what his tactic is so they they usually see him like um every once in a while right so one of the players on the other team knows his tricks and games so they basically catch him out and maybe they even had a ward and I even think he's pinging. Oh, wait. I may mean, think the Nunu's pinging, but where the jungler is, right? So you can see he plays the lane pretty, pretty uh, passively, which is fine, I think, because, you know, you are playing Kane. You don't really want to all in a Jax, so I could see that. So because he was set behind from his little cheese, because I think he doesn't want to interact with the enemy um, laner. And you can see he's just kiting him out, not really interacting with him. He's only queuing to kite him, and he, yeah, he just has a refillable, right? So again, he's going for CS. He, he His plans have been set behind and that's uh, basically it. Otherwise, if he gets a nice proxy, well, the Jax has to catch the CS over here. So I'm just saying, oh my God, the Shaco just ganks more than Nunu. God damn. Anyways, he's a little set back on his, uh, it, it's kind of like a Singe or a proxy Garen. It's a, like same concept, but he does it one step further by building a support item later in the game. So we're going to see... Oh, he's not getting that much CS, but we're going to see that later in the game. So you can see here, he has all three abilities. He has Ghost, and, or he's about to get Ghost soon. But you can see he knows he can't win the matchup against Jax. So I think in matchups where he can't, uh, where he can't win, he does proxy and goes for it. And doesn't play the lane like properly, kind of like a singe proxy. You can see always he all oh, wait, oh. Is this the right replay? Did I pick the right replay? I think I did. This must be. I remember. Yeah, I remember looking. So you can see he is in a very tough matchup. The enemy jungle, uh, the enemy top laner, basically knows he doesn't have flash, right? So he got kind of kind of stupefied there, but. 
he does in his original plan it would work out a little bit better if he, the enemy doesn't know who he is uh and fortunately if you guys want to copy this trap for whatever reason player ranked um you really think they're gonna catch you out and even if you do you get some sacks but you can see the wave clear on him is very good so what does he do to do um when he's behind like this right i think he's gonna look for a roam i think he's actually setting up to go behind the tower um yes look at this look at this he wants the proxy he doesn't want to fight and get, yes this is the proxy this is exactly what he does he's gonna go for a proxy so if jack tries to chase him he can't be chased and look at this he is gonna go cue this but what's he gonna do now he's gonna heal with his e what the that's pretty deep what the hell his E is on an 18 second cooldown, mind you guys. So look at this. Look, even the support is here to, to stop his proxying. And he's going to get... I think he's going to get a few stacks. Oh, okay, I, I don't think anything's going to happen. Holy crap, this guy's insane. What the hell's going on? Are you serious? He's actually... He's literally proxy singed. He does not care. I he's dead. So if you go to his OPGG, you can see why he probably has a lot of deaths on his team uh, in a lot of the games. Um, I can see why some of the games look like he's playing proxy singed. I now kind of know why. So that is some interesting stuff. Um, and now he's bought a serrated Dirk and I think he always goes blue for him as well as tier so that is some interesting stuff he does i get the whole concept of proxying because your q does more damage to to minions and it makes a lot of sense and now he's just straight up roaming and says screw it um what? did i pick the right replay doesn't this just seem like a total grief what about top lane okay so he's just roaming so at this point he's just roaming gets a get a nice shield and now he's gonna go this kind of reminds me of T the Tarek top lane who just starts roaming um and then leaves the top laner on an island so as you can see there's a bunch of people going to gank this guy and now he's bot lane and this lucian just gives a shutdown to ezreal and now he's gonna proxy this wave i think oh no he gets this so i think he kind of plays it like a jungler and and gets his stacks to bot lane somehow gets them ahead and he gets late for, for him came out oh, he's he's not even going top he's no he's not even messing with the jacks he he's staying he's literally playing jungle kane and and playing a cares my tax man style i mean honestly i'll be honest he is um helping him push because they killed lucian i don't know what this nami has been doing she's been following kane like a madman so at, at this point he buys the spectro sickle um oh and he, he 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 he's now a mid laner now so um Vladimir is now going to be facing Mr. Jackie Chan and who has 71 CS and probably Divine Sunder in about five minutes, which is uh, going to kick some um, some booty. But, you know, let's uh, let's see what this guy does with the Spectro Sickle. So he gets this. He has 47 CS. He doesn't get the penalty uh, until maybe about 20 more CS. So as you can see, he gets a sweeper. What he's looking for, he's literally playing roaming new new. Oh, geez. But then there's a. Uh, Oh, he he plays it like he's in bronze elo because this is gonna work because the war there even though they're awards oh wow i was gonna say even though they're awards uh this gank still works um uh, okay so now you can see the enemy no <laughs> they put two pink wards in this lane or in this bush to stop him from roaming because they know he has a spectral sickle um he helps his jungler press q on this crab which is nice will he get the cannon at least he gets the cannon xp uh and there you go okay so he doesn't have the penalty yet and he has 14 gold oh okay oh okay okay he, what he's doing is just farming and then will this even work okay is he gonna get any stacks oh ooh, shaco i think this is the real one oh i actually don't know who the somehow they just kill he's killing uh he's actually he's 
Oh, right there, right there. He just saw it. Oh, oh wait, what? He went down. Um, he actually killed Ari in that in that fight. I have no idea how. And he got 80 gold for that, right? So now he goes up here, takes a back, nice wave clear. Hot Rain is winning, and now he's one, three, and two, and he has a 78 tier stack. So the more he fights the enemy. He also has magical boots. Uh, I totally forgot to say that. Um, and cosmic insight. So does he have? He has his form at. I heard this guy gets uh, his form in like eight to nine minutes, even though he's playing lane. So it's pretty interesting. And as you can, see, okay, I understand the strategy now, and I understand why he does it. Um, so the reason he really, <laughs> his playstyle matches why he does it. He doesn't lane. He roams and plays like a second jungler. Um. <laughs> So if there's a yeah, okay. He plays like he's a second jungler. I don't know if this works. This looks like it could work. Uh oh. Did, does Nunu have ult? Yeah, he plays he plays like he's a second jungler. He gets all these stacks already here. He goes for the wave clear. Unfortunately, he finally has the support uh minion rule. So um he's getting less gold, but he doesn't get less XP. That's only for junglers. So let's see what he does next. While going, oh, okay, he's going for a back. I think he sees a roam in the bot lane. Yeah, you see, he doesn't care about plates. No, Suri. Why would he care? About, why would he care about that? He finally has. Yeah, look, look. He rushes a ghost blade. All right, he stacks those tiers. He's gonna go bottom and roam and blue cane it up. So you can see his only goal is to roam beyond the lane. Oh my God, there's a ward there. Oh my God, he missed the Q. So you can see here, his whole goal, literally. It's the roam. Look at this. Misses. Oh, Nunu, what are you doing? Just stay away. Gets his stack of 225 gold. So the way he earns his gold is not by killing his laner or laning properly. He, he gets it by roaming from his support item. And unfortunately, he doesn't get gold, but he gets XP at least from the minions. So he's getting a, a huge amount less. I'm not sure if this is worth it. I, and I think he keeps this... Uh, throughout the game so who's laning it's honestly uh well this is awkward so it's nunu ezreal and vlad but honestly nunu gets the he gets the uh passive which kind of sucks you i feel like you'd want like a mass g for this i don't know something something who eh, nunu works he can he can get around the map and do stuff you can see here he's running around the map just trying to find ganks any kind of skirmish kind of reminds me of that Tarek top lane Look at that damage, Jesus. He's gonna kill. Look at this ghost. He's ghosting in. I think he's gonna go and try for the uh, Awi. Oh, Awi's gone. Okay. Okay, damn, that sucks. But he's still. No, he's he's not dead. Look at this. Oh, okay. He's going He's gonna find a Shaco. He's trying to find. He's not gonna go for Shaco. He's gonna ult in. Oh, dead. Oop. That's good. That's, that's good. Uh oh, he's dead. He's dead. And he had a shut. I don't. He had a shutdown. <laughs> he had a shutdown. So, yeah, I mean, he messed up. It's kind of funny. He has a game one trick. And the way he plays is pretty funny. Um, the weird thing is, sometimes he messes up his cues a little bit. Which is uh, pretty interesting stuff. Alright, so, now he goes into the bot lane. Oh, look, he's not even laning top lane. He just says, Vlad, can you just go to my lane? I don't care. He just wants to either... Actually, you don't even get um, uh, support minion debuff from monster camps. Technically, you could do chickens and just jungle, right? He doesn't have his ult, though. So he is helping his jungler just roam and helping those ganks. He rushes a blue form every single time to do this playstyle. He queues into walls like he doesn't have like 5,000 games on Kane. Uh, he doesn't. Um, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. But he plays this and he's 567 Grandmaster. So what do I know? And he gets the spectral. Uh, he's already got 400 gold from this. And what? It costs like 400. So he's already gained the money back. Okay, technically, there are, there are gold. Um, sorry. You get reduced gold from minions. But the amount of times he's roaming. I think it's actually made up. He's also gotten what? Stats from it. Uh, mana regen. 10 health. That's. Oh, and you get two gold per. Oh, okay. So you don't. Well, you don't actually get. You know, all that benefits from the stacks. From, uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, it, it works. Oh, is that the real one? He knows it's not. He still gets stacked, so let's see what happens. So he doesn't get the kill there. Nice cutting from Lucian. He's gonna go for an assassination. He has Ghost Blade up. He's looking for something. He's gonna look for it right now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You're facing a cane. 
I think he's dead. So there's so maybe there's a reason why he has a, a big great gray KDA. Because he, he likes to go in a lot, you know? He likes he likes to go in a lot. Oh my god, this Jax is a humongous. Oh, he actually he actually might he's not gonna die. This Jax is humongous though. But uh, I, I see why he's got a gray KDA. Um he likes the int, even though when he's ahead. I actually think this strategy that he does, if he didn't do hmm, a lot of random deaths, I don't, I mean, this one's, I guess this is tactic. There's no way to like avoid it. Maybe he could like lane properly, cue the wave and then go over the wall and then start proxying because then he can't get caught out. But I mean, I feel like he, he has a lot of deaths where he could actually be challenger or even like, actually he probably could be challenger very soon if he keeps this up and he doesn't like, he kind of changes a little bit. I don't know. Um, oh, and especially some of the deaths he does that probably are avoidable. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm just saying he could probably, oh, the way he plays though is really good. And it's like really good at roaming, right? Oh, is he going to ghost for this? I think he is. I don't, yeah. Okay. He got ghost blade. He's going to ghost for it. He doesn't care. I don't think he's going to alt. And now he can roam. He's going to roam. Uh, to this lane but yeah i think there's a lot of n unnecessary deaths here i don't think charisma would die here to be honest i don't think he would um the other three deaths okay this death was like honestly i mean he just got like he the players know what he does right so that's a thing and he got ganked one of the times i think around here oh no jack's actually all in them right so like i don't blame that one this one and another death, I, I I could see it being avoided. The other two were like, well, he's just screwed over. But he, he actually had a huge comeback. So let's actually see. Oh. So he... That's actually pretty... He's like, that's actually pretty smart. Um, so you know how you use your um, smite to use your ult? He actually uses his ignite to proc his ult and then kill Lucian with the extra damage. So he knows his damage. Wow, he's only level 10. Jesus. Um, wow, wait. It doesn't matter. Wait, I didn't know this. It, it doesn't matter if you uh, put points into your R. Apparently, it just doesn't go up in damage. Um, let me confirm this. Maybe it could be a bug. But I'm going to confirm this. If it if it actually doesn't go up in damage. I know... I know it's something like this in the cooldown, but I'm going to confirm to see if it is or not. Let's go here. And I am ready to watch him. Actually, let's watch him, right? So, let's see how he plays. But I will confirm the ulti thing. Oh, that's really weird. So, it does go up in damage by 100. And then if you're dark in mode, it doesn't go up. Obviously, I, I knew that one. But for some reason, in this tooltip... It, yeah, it doesn't say it's going up by 100 damage, which is really weird. Um, it goes up by 100 damage if you're shadow form. Otherwise, um, you know, it doesn't do anything if you're in uh, red form. So, weird it doesn't say it. Okay, whatever. But anyways, let's see. So, he does that. Let's see his runes. Runes are doing okay. Scorch doing 54 damage. I'm not sure why he goes Scorch if he... We need to if he... Uh, I actually don't know why he goes Scorch if he uh, just roams. I, I think he could just go like, not water walking, gathering the storm. Oh, maybe he goes Scorch because there's no other rune to go, right? He wants he wants some damage early game, if you know what I mean. So that's why he probably goes Scorch instead of gathering the storm. I would go gather the storm, but what do I know? I, I Now, if you want me to... Oh. Oh. Okay, I think he should... Okay, I'm no Kane main, but I think he should just, you know, poke W, Q, whatever, you know, get get your poke on through this wall, reassess the situation, and if you can get a kill, go for it with your ulti. Uh, you didn't have Ignite to, you know, see what I mean? See, see the, he, I think his tactic is, is good. Uh, it's, okay, maybe it's troll. It works sometimes. Um, but I think a lot of his deaths could be avoided is what I'm trying to say. And I actually think if he played not so aggressive, he could be a very, he could actually be challenger. Like, I don't mind this aggression, right? This is a free kill, no, no, obviously. Uh, but like the death he just had before, 
he's playing Kane. I don't think he should die there. That's what I'm trying to say. And now he's 9, 6, and 2. The enemy Jax is actually 6, 1, and 1. So, what's he going to do now? What did he buy? He has Eclipse, Ghostblade, uh, Super Boots, and now he's working towards Mana Man. So, he hasn't finished the Mana Man at all. He actually rushes a tier so he doesn't run out of mana to do all his EQ things. -y. So, he's right here just basically zoning. He can't walk up. Now, this is what I like to see. I, I like this, but he's not hes, he's not going to, like, go in. If he keep I'm sorry. He, he, he should have died. He should he, he should have died there. Okay, it's okay. I think he should have died there. Ari just missed literally everything. Which is insane to me. <laughs> which is insane to me. <laughs> um Okay. He he will back here. So this has Baron, right? He has Baron. Yeah, he's just gonna walk out. They're just gonna walk out. And uh, like I said, he doesn't care about minions. Even though he has so much minions, he has 676 gold, hasn't completed the quest. Oh. Damn it. Oh, he actually has the quest now. Or, sorry. He has a 400 more gold to complete the quest. He's not going to die. Chico is right there. Or, right, I guess there's Lucian. He has the support minion rule. So, this is actually good. Well, good for him because... Well, he hasn't been CSing. So, he's been getting it through kills as well as a support item. So it makes up for it. It's kind of like uh, Heart of Gold. And there we go. 746. Um, Man Immune pretty doing good. Damn Eclipse. And he's pretty useful because Shadow Kane is pretty goddamn OP. So you can see just roaming around the map. Oh, frick. This aggression I do like. Oh. Now that aggression I do like. And that's fine. It's just the kind of ones where he probably could have not died, you know? I'm just saying, this guy could probably challenge... If he made the Grandmaster doing this stupid crap... Oh, he maxes W. What the hell? Oh, what? 45 damage. I guess because... um. Okay, I see why he maxes W. It's, I, actually, no, I don't. Oh, I guess he's not, like, wave clearing stuff. You know, he's not, like... He's not like going to lane and, and like clearing waves. So W is actually more impactful because you get uh, more cooldown. Okay, I actually don't know why it does it. I'll be honest, but I get. No, actually, I, I don't know why he does it. Because what if you miss it in a gank or like a roam, right? You could miss it, but maybe he's guaranteeing that you don't miss it. I'm just... Q is also fine to max out too because you get more cooldown on it plus uh, 20, 40 damage. So it's interesting. He's also the same level as Jax, which is pretty, pretty cool. He also has Baron. And now he finally finished Mad Immune and Sicko Dicko. Wait. Wait, has he been warding? Wait, has he? Oh, he has been warding. So look at that. This is insane. Look at all these wards he's putting down, which I haven't actually noticed. I, I totally completely forgot. Right. But okay, let's see here. He's ghosting in. He's, he, oh, this, this is a white. This is a wipe. Jax is not here. The team fight's over. So you can see here, he wipes the enemy team. He's definitely the MVP. And oh no. Oh no. And oh, 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 what the hell? He's, and he's just going to steal the red blue buff. Yeah, he's just going to steal the buff. He's literally playing second jungle. By the way, if he roams and plays like this, he can actually do chickens too, right? We all know how good chicken, um, chicken cane is. So... If he does this crap, honestly, he sees the enemy jungle camps. Obviously, his eyes are on, on like kills. You could actually look at this. Look, I mean, he's all 14, but just one more Q. Oh, yeah, he's going for one more Q. Oh, take a while. So now he's looking to finally push this in, get some CS. Maybe he's going for a camp. I don't think he is, but he's going to go. He basically just plays second jungler. So I don't know about you guys and this strat. Play, again, plays Kane really aggressive and then randomly dies to like dumb stuff. But, oh, actually, yeah, he doesn't all win. Too many people behind him. But yeah, he plays it super aggressive and just helps his jungler. So it's kind of, do you guys remember that Tarek player in Korea who would play roaming Tarek? It's, it's very similar to that. David, I think this guy needs Zonia's. 
But he, he's going in. Oh, but he he gets stunned. But he queues out. Um, and then he goes back in. But I think he should wave clear here. Oh, he, has, he just won the team fight. His team just won the team fight. So he's gonna heal with his blue buff as well as the mana immune. And he has mana full, I think, to keep up with all that. No Nimbus Cloak. And yeah. That's I think that's game. I don't think Shaco and Nami can hold this. He's already full health. Um, so interesting. <laughs> Pretty interesting. He had a really horrible start, but he he got up. He like he, he won the game, you know? He won the game. He had an interesting end as well. But I can see this strat working with maybe other champs. Um, I was looking singed, but I think he's just... You just need a super mobile champion to go up and down. Maybe even proxy Janna. You can't even do it proxy Janna. But maybe the strat works on other champs? I, I could see it maybe mid lane? No. Well... Kind of makes sense on Kane because he does it kind of really well. Buys the sicko and then just starts roaming. It's kind of so similar to Tarek. But like I said, thank you guys for watching this video. I think he's uh I think he could definitely be challenger if he just stopped. Well, I mean, if you look at this, like if you literally look at this, like he's got a lot of deaths every single game. If he worked on that, I think he could probably be challenger. But you know what? 600 Grandmaster LP, what am I to talk? He's still doing pretty well for himself. In fact, he got a 1,000 LP challenger. I don't know if he did the same strat in 2021, but maybe he did. So who knows, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.